Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, episode 174. Here we are, baby. Let's get into it. Save file number one. If you guys want to check out save file number two, twitch.tv slash wolves at my door as we plow through a brand new save file that we started like three weeks ago. So it's not brand new at all anymore. Um, this is our OG save file. As most of you guys know, we're currently on a five win streak. Hooray. Uh, we got through the Forgotten a couple episodes ago. We finished out his post and note. If you missed that, uh, go check it out. It's probably like five episodes ago, six episodes ago, where we started to, to finish off that post it note uh, that we left hanging. Everybody else's post it note's good, just to keep everybody updated. The stats, these are the items we are missing. Thank you. A special shout out to the OK Gatsby on Twitter. He sent us over this. Because, uh, as you saw in the other episode, um, the Binding of Isaac wiki was the stuff I found page was, like, not working. So here you go. I uh, blacked out Sacrificial Altar that down there in the bottom left because we did get that. These are the remaining items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine more items to pick up. We need to pick these items up. That way they appear on the stuff I found and we can finally complete, complete, complete this save file. Uh, but as we, as we do, Eden streaks, we are gonna continue with our Eden streaks and those are the items we are gonna be looking for as we go through the game. We have started, wow, we got, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> um, well, this is a start for sure. A four damage stat, a really good tier stat. We are slightly slow running, but that's okay. Um, our range seems all right. And obviously we got Spoonbender and we got Book of Revelations and those guys just killed themselves. We got Book of Revelations and then we run into the poop. We are not going to take poop over Book of Revelations, but hey, looking on the bright side of things, it gave us a coin. I would like to blow that up if we uh, so get the opportunity with a bomb. Um, thank you guys so much for the support on the Isaac series. Uh, again, I don't know if we're fully back, but hey, I, I keep waking up. I keep getting my iced coffee and I uh, keep thinking, hey, I want to play some more Isaac. And I'm like, hey, Jay, you just streamed it last night for a couple hours. And then, you know, I just say, hey, Jay, again. And then I just keep talking to myself. And then I talk myself into recording another episode. So here we are. Uh, I'm sorry, beggar. You're in a bad spot. And uh, you're going to meet your demise there. Let's go back here. There might be a tinted rock in this room. I don't even know. Actually, you know what, dude? A bomb's not going to be... A bomb won't blow that up, right? I don't think it will. For, for science. I don't think it will, but yeah, okay, there we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Uh, hopefully we get another bomb, so that's not all a complete waste of our time. We're gonna shoot the poop as well. Again, gotta remind myself we are not in a rush. We do not need... Ooh, that's nice. We do not need hush. We do not need boss rush. We do not need any of that nonsense, so we are not in a rush. We're just relaxing, hanging out, playing some Isaac here on a Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday for me. I don't know when it is for you. Maybe it's Wednesday. I might be posting this same day. Who knows? Who knows? I posted yesterday same day. A lot of people, uh, not a lot, but there, I've been getting some comments that are like, oh, dude, you, you're, you, you know, just saw this episode. Uh, that's awesome. You're back. Uh, yesterday and this episode are not our first episodes back. So there, there might be a, a little lapse in your sub box or, or something, but check my YouTube. Uh, or check the playlist. I always link the playlist at the end of the videos. Uh, and I always update the playlist with the latest episodes. So, yeah, you could always check it out there if you missed any episodes. Because if you think uh, the, the episode before this or the episode before that was like our return, it was not. Uh, we've, we've actually been back for like six or seven episodes now. So make sure you go check all them out. I mean, we could go into the shop, but we have two cents. It's not really that great. Uh, obviously, we would have loved another bomb, um, not only for the the blow upable chest, but also that tinted rock there at the end. My nose is very itchy. I took an allergy pill. Hopefully, that kicks in. I don't know. I also took an uh, 
what is it called? Airborne? Vitamin C? Chewable tablet? I went to the grocery store again today. Back to back days. Uh, looking for the chewable. The airborne chewable gummies. And uh, no luck. It's, it's, it's that time of the year. It's that time of the year. Book of Shadows is pretty good. Um, you know, not not better than Book of Revelations, but it's also nice that we've touched two books. We're one book away from, you know, Bookworm. Uh, but yeah, it's that time of the year where people are getting sick. So the airborne vitamin C gummies are at a premium right now, I guess. So we just got the chewable tablets. Not as good, but like it's, it's, it's kind of scary how good the airborne chewable gummies are. Like it's straight up candy. And like, it's got like even like a soury sugar coating on it. It's it's just absolutely delicious. Um, I do have to say, I guess this isn't spo this is not sponsored by Airborne chewable tablets. Uh, the YouTube landscape has changed a lot since I left. <laughs> a lot of hashtag ads going on, but that is not a that is not an ad. That is just uh, my genuine opinion about the product and it's a hot commodity right now it's hard to get people outside waiting in line for it big black friday deals on uh, the chewable gummies cyber monday amazon was sold out i'm making all this up well that's nice that's basically a soul heart right there sitting for us um all right again shut out on the item room here we do have a, a, a bomb so if we could full explore this floor maybe find something to use it on oh wow that would i did not even see him shoot his tear i saw him do like a little hiccup animation but that was it we are definitely going to take this hp up into the deal with the devil and <laughs> we don't get anything so first two item rooms nothing and the deal with the devil nothing except the soul heart uh but we can't really complain because the start was so strong and we have so much survivability. Like, our tier rate is good from the start. And, you know, Spoonbender is good. And we got that from the start. So, uh, again, not great first two floors here. But, hey. Beggars can't be complainers. As the old adage goes. The old adage. Get in there with the cube of meat a little bit. But, yeah, hey. If, you know, I, I th this is like a, you know... At this point, can we call it a return? I mean, you know, let's do this. Let's not be lazy about it. I mean, we got one key. Oh, you love to see it. To be honest, I don't play emergency contact very often. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I, I figured it was going to be something with mom. Did I think it was going to be mom's hands? No, I didn't. But uh, I guess that, that's what makes it different than the, the card that drops the foot, right? Uh, anyway, what, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, that, that, that this could be, I guess, classified as a return now. Does it mean I'll continue to keep up uh, the upload rate of Isaac as I am right now? I don't know. I really don't know. It's so hard to say, man. I, I enjoy, I'm enjoying my time. But I honestly, I, I don't like making... Uh, I, 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 I've learned my lesson, let's just say. <laughs> I think one of the one of the second to last or last episodes that we did on Isaac, I say last, but it, it wasn't the last, obviously, because we're back right now. But before we took the break, like two episodes before that, I said like you know daily Isaac forever. I qu I was quoted saying daily Isaac forever, and I I st I stopped like two days later. So I I kind of learned my lesson. It's the same as, like, I was actually just talking about this on stream. It's like, people sometimes come in and it's like, Jay, are you done with this game? And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. You know, Jay, are you ever going to play this game again? Sometimes my brain wants to say, no, I probably won't ever play that game again. But I've learned my lesson to not even, not even say it. Is this an item room? This is not an item room. Okay. Interesting room you got here. <laughs> I don't know. I guess uh, we'll we'll take blood rights, maybe. I mean, that's gonna hurt. What our red hearts? Oh, okay. 
I understand now. That's not razor blade. Yeah, I understand. I remember that item. It's not super useful. Did we waste a bomb there? Yeah, but you could make the argument, hey, we could have got we could have got magic mush by blowing up three mushrooms. We could have got some pills. You could make that argument. It wouldn't be a very good argument, so I, I'm not going to make it. I'm, I'm just going to basically say we wasted that bomb, and I'm going to accept it. I wasn't really worried about, you know, taking damage by practicing uh, the blood rites there because of Book of Revelations and our survivability is very good. Uh, thankfully, that wasn't our item room, though, because that was that would have been three item rooms in a row that not very good. Again, the, the start was very strong, so we're still in a good good spot but eventually we're gonna have to start building on the good start because this game catches up with you pretty dang quick we're gonna wait on that battery don't like this room <laughs> tell you that much hate this room slow and steady here chip away at the old block all right, let's see the challenge room. Nope. We should go into the curse room, though. Very close to getting hit there. I think Cuba Meat saved us from the uh, enemy explosion of tears. All right, well done, well done. Uh, it's gonna be Bum Friend. It's again, not so good. It's not Bumbo. It's not great. It's not great. Did not get protected there from the explosion of tears. Uh, would love a key. We get a sack. There is a key in it. Okay. We have 15 cents, so we definitely want to check out the shop. And I think I'm going to get Hive Mind here. I like Compass, but I, I like Hive Mind better. We don't really have any way of producing uh, flies and spiders. So, you know, future-proofing a little bit. These champion boys, jeez. I don't know, what does Bum Friend do exactly? Does he pick up money and turn it into consumables? Because honestly, that's not, oops, how long, have, how long has uh, Book of Revelations been ready? <laughs> honestly, Bum Friend, I think, might actively be bad then because... I think we just want money right now. I mean, obviously keys would be good, but Oh, I was really I was really hoping I didn't get hit there. That's a full heart of damage by that champion, but it is what it is. We actually have a battery laying around, so we basically have a soul heart laying around. Um, all right. I think we're going to backtrack here, but let's just go check this out really quick. Let's go fight the boss, hopefully kill him quickly. Uh, we have a 33% chance, or sorry, 38% chance to get a deal. 50% of that would be an angel room. Who knows? Who knows, maybe we'll hit the percentage. It's not looking very good, but I think we are gonna backtrack anyway, because I wanna go into the curse room and uh, also grab that battery so we can get that heart back with Book of Revelations. All right, so we're going to get no deal, but half a soul heart and Cuba meat too, because we fought another horseman. We are still pretty slow. We started with 0.86 speed, and we still have 0.86 speed. It's not nothing to write home about. That's for sure. It's just not worth, worth the postage, you know? The stamp, it's not worth it. It ain't worth it, baby. Should I have waited to pop that after I went in and out of the the sacrifice room? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I should have. Because I would have saved half a heart. Because right there, I kind of forgot I picked up half a heart at the boss. And et cetera, et cetera. Min max, min max. Uh, let's, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. I ain't scared to lose a heart. This is a terrible room. Unless we get a, a great drop here. I don't know what a great drop would be. A gray chest? A bomb is definitely not a great drop. I would have rather probably a key, but it does give us some flexibility to check for a secret room, which I would have believed. Let's shoot these, try to get some money. Nothing, which I believe would be right here. I mean, let's double check the possibility. 
Still possible. Let's triple check. It's a bit unnecessary, but yeah, still possible. I think the secret room is going to be here. It is indeed. Uh, that's actually pretty good, and I am going to use a bomb here and hopefully pick up the nickel before bum friend does, and we do. We're up to 13 cents, and again, I would like compass. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it, man. I mean, our donation machine is, a sh is in shambles anyway. Bum friend almost screwed us. It's okay. We got compass. We got a uh, hive mind again. It's a bit of a piecemeal run. What does piecemeal mean? I have no idea. Super secret room. He's done it. We don't have a trinket, so we will take the wooden cross and we will go down. Again, keeping an eye out for blanket, mystery egg, flat stone, little spewer, sip of the old iced coffee. Marbles, Dad's Ring, Jawbone, Brittle Bones, and Lacrography. Nailed it. <laughs> Looking out for all those items. Super Meat Boy, uh, or sorry, Cuba Meat Level 2 is is fine. You know, it's, it's definitely a gateway to bigger and better things. Wooden Cross is going to give us Holy Mantle uh, on the floor. So if we manage to only get hit once on a floor... We will basically net get hit zero times. Does that make sense? No. That made no sense. You understand what I meant, though. Just stand in there. This portal's still open? Hello? Come on. We can go into the curse room, you know, and just use Holy Mantle that way, I guess, but... It's probably smart to just keep fighting. Sorry, was that a charged key or... Well, there goes Holy Mantle. Should have popped that before the room popped, but you know. Uh, we're definitely taking Spider Baby. And why, why am I so emphatic? Why am I so emphatic about Spider Baby? The whole class at the same time, everybody. Hive mind. That's right, guys. Hive mind. Spider baby, right? That does what I think it does, I hope. <laughs> it spawns spiders. <laughs> Played Isaac for four years, by the way. <clears throat> I don't see any spiders. Uh, I'll be honest. Maybe not. Lazy Worm. I believe that's Lazy Worm, and I believe it makes our shots very slow. Looks like the secret room would be here. No, it will not be there. I'm going to go into the curse room because we can. We have a lot of survivability still. Gulp. Gulp, I believe, just eats the trinket, right? Range down, not what you want to see. Okay, so I think it's one. Maybe Spider Baby has something to do with when we get hit. We wish you a. I don't know how that happened, but uh, we should. Okay, all right. This is very interesting. Um, I just ran into the fire. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. I'm gonna take damage here. I'm gonna take damage here for the greater good. I know this is gonna hurt me, but I'm okay. We re-rolled it. Something's wrong. We got a tinted rock there, which was to the left of the item pedestal. Um, it's, you know, anti-grav. Uh, not super... I mean, anti-grav's fine. I, I don't mind it. But we honestly, on stream, had an anti-grav run. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you play with an item, you just don't want to play with it again uh, for a little bit. So, Spectral Tears isn't bad. I'm, I'm fearing that I might get too greedy here. I think we're just going to take Spectral Tears. It's, again, it's not that great. But honestly, I was hesitant to even full explore this floor. So it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice we did because we ended up with uh, Spectral Tears when we probably wouldn't have had it to begin with. Okay. Well, we don't have a trinket now that we gulped it. Look at that. Finesse the hell out of them, dude. 
toad ass looking ass. Wow, he got very close. Personal space, brother. Back it up there, brother. So I mentioned I went to the grocery store again today. Um, I picked up the Oreo. So I, I have a very strong stance on Oreo. Uh, I'm, I've stated this like a nauseating amount of times and talked about it a nauseating amount of times. So I'm not gonna go super deep into it, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a single stuffed guy. Double stuffed is horrendous and an abomination. And uh, yeah, that's all I kind of want to talk about it. That's all I want to go. That's all that's as far as I want to go. I, I, I get mad just thinking about double stuffed Oreos. Anyway, I love Oreos. It, it, it is Milk's favorite cookie. And I do usually have an issue with how many flavors they put out because I'm, I'm more of a quality over qu quantity type of guy. And I feel like they just throw so much shit at the wall and see see like, you know, what sticks. Um, but I say all this to, to, to say they released the mysterious Oreo flavor, which I think is a genius marketing tactic. Basically, they put a Oreo on the shelf and it says mystery Oreo and it's a mystery flavor and you basically buy it blind and you, you get the opportunity to guess what the flavor is, and you get the opportunity to then win money if you guess it right. Uh, so it's, it's a genius marketing tactic. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not ha I'm not hating on, on the mystery flavor. I think that's a really good idea. I just don't love when they just release flavor after flavor willy-nilly, and then you walk down an aisle in a grocery store, and it's all Oreos. You got triple stuff, double stuff, cake batter. You got pecan pie. You got... You got apple cinnamon, you got, it's just like, it's too much, it's too much. But, again, back to the mystery flavor. They revealed yesterday what the mystery flavor was, and it's uh, churro. Churro is one of my favorite desserts. I'm a cinnamon sugar kind of guy. I love cinnamon sugar, I love uh, a churro. Uh, so I was intrigued. So I bought the mystery flavor, Oreo. But usually I'm very against the, the the random flavors, but this one just this one speaks to me on a different level, and I'm very excited to try it. I, I'm saying all this not having tried it yet. It is sitting in my kitchen right now. I'm very excited to give it a go, and I I've kind of brought this up to ask you guys: Have you tried the mystery flavor, which is now no? Don't take my dime. Oh oh. I... I'm drowsy. Why did I do this? I don't have I don't have a key. I wasted a bomb. Oh, I'm in shambles that he took all that money. <laughs> Why? Uh Yeah. Have you guys had the mystery flavor? And also a question. One, do you like it? And two, did you try the mystery flavor before it was revealed yesterday that it was churro? And did you guess it right? Tell me, tell me all, tell me all your information about the mystery Oreo flavor because I want to know it. I want to know how you felt about it. Did you guess it right? Did you buy it after? Did you pull a me and buy it after it was revealed? Because would I have bought the mystery flavor Oreo if I didn't know it was churro? If I just saw the mystery flavor thing, probably not. But once I found out it was churro, I was all over it, baby. Uh, I was looking for the super secret room, maybe here, perhaps. It is here indeed. It's a bunch of red hearts. Not for me. Boom, 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 boom. Burkano. Why do my tears look like they got worse? Is that? Uh, like, the one, they don't have, like, the purple glow anymore, which is weird. Um, they just look smaller somehow for some reason. I don't know why they look smaller than they did. I really don't get it. Get these bouncy-ass balls out of here, dude. Stop turning your back. Okay, 
We got him. But we ended up with getting an angel deal here. We're going to take mom's heels because we don't have really a choice. Ugh. It's not good. I'm actually going to opt out of taking red hearts. There's really no point to take them, especially because we have Book of Revelations. Do we want to fight the angel? I mean, I guess. There's really no point to fight it, but there's also, like, no point to not fight it, I guess. We could do Mega... We just did Mega Satan, so I don't know. Who knows? Who knows why I'm fighting this thing, but we're fighting it. We're not that strong. Our tears are still homing, even though they don't have a nice purpley glow. And I, I, I swear our tears were bigger than this. Not like it matters that much. I'm just kind of confused. I, sh I, you know, I'm starting to regret not going harder at the reroll machine with spectral tears. That's very unlike me. Uh, but, you know. I guess it just it's just what I felt was right. It's just what I felt was right at the moment. Look at this. Like, it was so weak. So weak. I mean, it's it's one of those things that I was I was saying like it, you know, it, it'll catch up with you quick and the game is definitely caught up to us. Like we are not strong enough right now for our current current floor. Will we succeed still? Hopefully, yeah. I mean, we're not that weak, but like, you know, as far as like the floor power goes, we're we're not quite there. That's satisfying. I mean, we beat this room pretty quickly because of the TNT barrels. They helped out greatly. I do appreciate their their patronage and their their service for being there on that floor for us when we needed them. That room, I should say, not floor. Spectral tears coming into play. You like to see that. We have curse of the maze. Obviously, that's what's happening here. Uh, okay. Um, pop that. See what it's going. On. See what's going on here. I. I it's, I mean, we gotta wait till it stops sucking. Try to finesse our way out of it. I mean, we do have Holy Mantle, so worst, worst case scenario here, we... Oh, I know there's a battery there, but we're two rooms away from charging and we're also full health, so that's kind of why I'm neglecting it. I do see it though. What is this? Ace of Diamonds? What is this? Very cool. <laughs> Top tier plays right there, boys. Let's see what our item room is. It's We gotta have a good one, right? We gotta have a good one. I think we were just cursed. We were blessed with a good start, but cursed with a good start, if you know what I mean. The game was like, here's a great start. And then the game was like, but here's a bunch of shitty item rooms. So Spider Baby only happens when you get hit. Played Isaac for four years, by the way. Um, That's not that good at all. That's not that good at all, man. Are you dead ass serious right now with this shit? It's just absolute trash, especially because we have one key piece and we could very well get the second one. It's absolute trash. I need mini mush. I need mini mush and I need it now. That's, wait, did I say mini? Oh, I said mini. I willed it into existence. If I said magic, it would have been magic. Oh, 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 it's mini, you know, if only it was magic. Oh, 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 it's mini. Dude, that's such, that's such a shame. If I only said the other word. I mean, I, hey, don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't dislike mini mush. I always like being smaller and I like being faster. But 
what could have been, what could have been. Right next to the TNT barrel. We still have our Holy Mantle, which would be nice for the uh, curse room. And again, that was a horseman. Uh, so now we have level three meet the boy. Not super meet the boy yet. Uh, get in there. One more horseman. And uh, we'll have the four horsemen. Ric Flair drip. Very close to getting hit multiple times there. Okay. Not so bad. I will do this. And honestly, not what we needed. <laughs> Definitely not what we needed. We are at full health. I was hoping for some sort of guppy item. You know, guppy's head. Because at this point, we don't need Book of Revelations anymore. I mean, we might in the in the foreseeable future need Book of Revelations, but definitely not right now. We need things that are going to better our run. Something like Guppy's Head would have been great because we need a, a room to room boost, and that would have been just what we needed. But not going to happen. I mean, we might as well blow up the Tinted Rock for, you know, chance at Small Rock because... Oh, we have Spectral Tears. This room should not be that hard. Hoping for Small Rock. We do not get it. We get another Soul Heart. We have one bomb here. Um, you know, one bomb for a gray chest. I don't think that's worth it, especially because we haven't found our super secret room yet. Oh. Not like it matters if we take any damage right now. <laughs> uh, blue candle. Piggy bank. We might as well buy a bomb, I guess. Not very exciting stuff. That's not what you want to be doing on uh, the depths one is buying a bomb for five cents. It's usually not a good sign of how the run has panned out. I mean, it's not a bad run. It's just kind of like... Meh. I think meh is the best way to describe it. M-E-H. Meh. I mean... Mini Mush definitely helped. Because one of the sore spots was that we were slow and we were meh. Now at least we're a little bit faster and we're meh. Uh, Super Secret Room... I should probably back there, to be honest. That's okay. Let's just, let's just get going. What does Temperance have for us? Oh my lord. I'm taking it because of the speed up. I don't really care about the red heart. Whether we have it or not, I'm strictly taking blood bag because of the speed up. That was... I, I don't know if I've seen that. If I've ever seen uh, that pay out in one shot. Usually it pays out its freaking IV bag. We lucked out a little bit there. Got a little bit more speed, which is nice. This is a this is a room. I mean, I've seen rooms in Isaac, and this is definitely one of them. Okay, we get a key. We lost Holy Mantle. We almost hit the creep, but we didn't. Horseshoes and hand grenades, or should I say, horseshoes and bomb flies? <laughs> yeah. Am I right? Am I right, fellow Isaac viewers and players? <laughs> Bomb flies. <laughs> okay. This crown. Okay. All right. Let's see what our item room is. I mean, that's the only sound I could make to describe how I feel. Conehead isn't the worst item, but it's definitely not the best. We can get more soul hearts there, which we do not need. Okay. Probably going to get hit here. <laughs> like, I knew it before it even happened that we were going to get hit. This is just not a great room. OK, 
Okay. Only got hit once. Not so bad. Pushed him into the red poop. It's okay. We got hit again. That was a champion, though, so it took a full heart. We only have three cents. I mean, money is not good because anytime it does drop, it seems like uh, Bum Friend goes and grabs it. Obviously, I let him get that one because we can't. I guess we'll check out the shop, but uh, it's, you know, we don't have anything in our donation machine. Uh, we have no money, but we do have six keys, so you never know. I mean, it might encourage us to full explore, you know, get all the secret rooms, etc., etc. Eh, nothing really that exciting. Honestly, just pick up the coin. The one coin's not going to do anything for us. And if you at least drop something uh, that we could use, that would be nice. That is not where the seeker room is. That is not where the seeker room is. It's got to be up here to the right. Maybe. I don't know. Nope, not there. Well, we've gone this far. We might as well try to find the seeker room, which I think is here. It is, and then we'll go to the curse room as well. Okay, we are fighting greed, so we are going to get some money here. We got to be careful, though, because Bum Friend could pick it all up. That is not money, but it is a steam sale. Oh, I ran right into the creep. That's my bad. Playing a bit willy-nilly here. It's okay. I mean, we obviously got Book of Revelation, so we have survivability still. Uh, we don't have any batteries laying around like we have on previous floors, but that's okay. We're about to get a charge on it. There's the charge. Pop it right away. This is going to give us a two charge on it, I believe. We do have Spectral Tears. We got to remember that. We good? No. Now we're good. Is the bomb worth it here? We'll find out. It is not worth it. We will go to the curse room. And that was a wash. Because we lost a heart, gained a heart. So it was actually a wash. Okay, now we're spawning Now we're spawning uh, some spiders. Unless, unless they're spawned from the curse room. Actually, yeah, I think they're spawned from the curse room. So never mind. Never mind. We cannot do the challenge room. Uh, we have four cents and steam sale, so we could pop our head into the shop again. I don't. I don't know if we're gonna be able to buy anything, but there's a soul heart on sale. I guess I'd buy it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'd buy a bomb. I'm gonna buy a bomb. It's very not exciting. Uh, but we could up our chance to get a deal with said bomb we upped it five percent which could help who knows i mean we'll never know if it helped but uh yeah let's just go fight mom and and see and see where this run goes because right now it's going nowhere fast i mean i think the best case scenario would be in the womb to fight like war or something to get it to get super meat boy level four because then at least Super Meat Boy could carry us, because right now, as you can see, our tears are not carrying us. We do not really have any good bomb synergies either. Look at this damage, guys. Holy crap. This is uh, not good. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. This is not good. Meat Boy's got to be as active as possible here. I know I should be going in a circle, but I'm, I'm being impatient and trying to get her to stomp as quickly as possible. I'm also trying to be close to her when she falls so Meat Boy can get in there. Okay, Mom is going to go down soon here. There she goes. We'll take the Polaroid. We did get a deal. And it's going to be Angelic Prism. Uh, it's not necessarily great, but it is an item. Oh, I dropped the bomb to speed this fight up, and I whiffed. It's not good.
I mean, Meat Boy's really got to pull his weight here because these tears. Trying to get Angelic Prism in there. There we go. Once we started working in Angelic Prism, it started to speed up a little bit. All uh, right, let's go down to the womb. This is uh, a bit rough. Not gonna lie, it's a bit rough. We did get a... I'm gonna play this. I was gonna say, this needs to be like Steven or something, or Cricket's Head. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible, because we're pretty much, we're not guaranteed an angel room, but like it's a 71% chance that we're gonna get an angel room, and well, you know what? We'd probably be better off with a devil deal, if I'm being completely honest. Let's pop that, because we should get another charge when we clear this. We have no bombs to speed this, this fight up. Angelic Prism mixed with uh, homing is, is, is pretty good. Seems like some of the tears come back around. Blew the bomb up on him, which is nice. All right. Well, we get another, uh, another soul heart there, which is nice. We have the boss room up top, so let's try to get to the boss as fast as possible because this is the womb. There is no item rooms. There's no shop. Itchy nose. Do apologize. We actually didn't take damage there. We took damage there because I ran over the creep. I mean, I don't have to say it, right? About the damage, I don't have to say it. You guys see it? Okay. You guys see it. I'm, I don't have to say it, guys. You guys know, you know. You know, I don't gotta say anything. All I gotta say is, thank God for Super Meat Boy level three. You know, he's not level four, you know, but thank God for at least him. Wow, we took multiple hits here. Spectral Tears, trying to take advantage of that. Which we failed to do right when we entered this room. For some reason, it's hard for me to wrap my head around Spectral, te spectral Tears when I'm not flying. And I don't know why that is. That's literally, like, the whole point of Ouija Board is to get Spectral Tears without, like, the flight. I don't know if it has something to do with like the logic of tier height that is also like engraved in my brain. Like if I'm not flying, I can't shoot over rocks or something, but it's there in my brain. I don't know what it is. Very satisfying. Very satisfying when you get a bunch of hits with Angelic Prism. Just got to back this guy up. <laughs> it took way too long to kill that guy. I'm just going to do that right now. Oh, you son of a gun. All right. I was going to say, hopefully it's a horseman, and it is a horseman. So we are going to end up getting Super Meat Boy level four here, which I think it might have guaranteed, might have been a guaranteed horseman here. I don't know the exact algorithm. I'm sure there's people out there that do. The percentages of uh, if I get a horseman here, here, and there, I'm going to get a horseman here. I'm assuming it was pretty high. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Cuba meat, level four. Here we go. Oh, this is a damn shame. Gotta go right. That's the, l l not the last thing we needed, but 
very close to the last thing. Very close. Very, very close. Uh, I have a weird feeling going right is not the right way. I was going to drop a bomb, but this, these guys going down pretty quickly here. Probably thanks to Super Meat Boy level 4. We do have enough keys for this, so we're gonna do it. Oh, jeez, please. Guppy's head or freaking Steven Cricket's head. Not the Bible, but bookworm. Rune bag, okay. Why do we want money? I have no idea. Probably should have just let, uh, probably should have just let bum friend pick that up. See what he dropped us. I mean, really was holding out hope for Guppy's head or Steven or Cricket's head there. But since we got Rosary, I think we were guaranteed the Bible. Again, back to the algorithm. We got Small Rock. Let's go. Let's go, boy. My world's on fire. How about yours? Well, we lost Holy Mantle. That's okay. Could I have taken the Bible and killed Mom in one shot? Yeah. Would I have lost Book of Revelations? Yeah. Would it have mattered? No, nah, probably not. <laughs> Good story. Cool story. This is, you know... It's a, it's a matter of time fight. We're not super powerful, so we're not going to kill Mom's heart very quickly. But Super Meat Boy level 4 being in there helping out. And a 70% chance to get a deal with the Angel. And we actually end up getting a deal with the Devil. Which I think is going to be very nice and lucrative for us. Because we could take all of these. There's our flight. Uh, n honestly, not that good of a deal with the Devil. You know? It, it, it definitely could have been better. I'll go into the curse room. You never know. You never know. I mean, it is going to take a heart of uh, damage from us, but that's okay. We did, we did get a Book of Revelations play, and we didn't have to spend three soul hearts on any of those deals with the devil. And actually, we just scored our thing right back. And we actually are not going to take damage at all. And this was not worth it. But, you know, hindsight's 2020. There we go. Look at that. We, uh, we traveled and we actually netted a heart there. Thought I saw a tinted rock for a second. Did not. All right. Uh, we're going up. There, uh, now my brain has to think about that because of the other save file. I'm always like, do I have to do, do I have to do Satan? Do I have to go down? Negative, Polaroid, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you know, when you're eating streaking, you're pretty much. Uh. I wouldn't say always going up, but you're you're usually leaning that way. Uh, okay, took some some damage there. Uh, I'm gonna go right because the boss is right. And that start, started to head left, but now that I've uh, been in this room and realize it's a dead end, I'm, I'm thinking left, up, and around is going to be our way. Again, said this before, but usually through big rooms is where you need to go. They force you through the big rooms. We're still not powerful. Even, even with that, we took three items in the deal with the devil. Even with that, we're still not that powerful. Obviously, we're powerful because of... Super Meat Boy, level four, but you know, I'm I'm glad. Let's just say I'm glad we didn't take the Bible, and I'm glad that we kept kept Book of Revelations, because <laughs> I think we're gonna need it. Get in there, Super Meat Boy. Well done, my guy. Love opening the room with the angelic prism. Oops, that was a, that's a uh, void one. Thank God we have flight. Aww. 
This is not a void one. <laughs> it's a Degas. I'll definitely take the Degas. And we also get rid of the Curse of the Darkness there, which is nice. We have 11 keys, which should be enough for the chest. Not like we have Guppy's Tail or anything. If we did, I would uh, try to get that key on that the room before this one. All right. This should be the way to the boss. I don't really see how it would be another way. Angelic Prism, please, please, please. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna continue right. That would that's what the map is telling me I should do. Okay. This hematemesis is not gonna do us any good. So if we could find a card or a rune with rune bag uh, to take down, I'm looking at you, Yara. Uh, that would be great because holding on to the hematemesis pill is completely useless. Here we go. Oh, come on, chief. I mean, it's better than the hematemesis pill. <laughs> wow, it's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys. Yeah. Yeah. Could have been a tinted rock there, but again, we're, we're at full health. There's really no point in searching. There's a ton of rocks, so chances are there's a tinted rock. I think we'll fare okay against Isaac here, strictly because of Meat Boy. Uh, usually stationary bosses meet their demise pretty quickly because of Meat Boy. Try to play into Angelic Prism as much as possible. Without, you know, hurting ourselves too much. It seems to be working out pretty well. to get hit there. It's all right. Book of Revelations. We also have the Degas. And uh, it's just, yeah, we should be able to kill him easy peasy. Hopefully we get some good fun. I, I don't even want good items. I want fun items on the chest. Anything that'll spice up this run a little bit because it has not been great. Honestly, if we didn't have such a solid Eden start, if like we had a below average Eden start. I'm going to be honest. Our win streak might have ended at four or five because it never really took off like at all. Like, thank God for small rock late because if it wasn't for small rock late, this would be taking forever. Okay. And again, let me just say, not the worst run I've ever had by any stretch of the imagination. It's just, it's just, it's just not, not, it not, you know. Uh, well, Transcendent Tears, not horrible. A Pyromaniac, you know, is fine. Guillotine, I don't really like. But I guess we'll take it and uh, we'll just go fight Mega Satan. I don't know. There's really, you know, there's no point to not fight Mega Satan if we have the key. I know we just did. Uh, hopefully Super Meat Boy can put in some work. I really, really hate Guillotine. I, I don't know why I took it, but it could very well be the death of us. Especially because my body's so little, it's like so freaking hard to see. I mean, that you know, no excuse for that. It's just so hard to see like where my hitbox is. Thank God we have flight, though, because... Oh, that's going to hit me. Because no flight on this Mega Saiyan fight is just pretty much hell. Taking a lot of damage here. I mean, we might as well Degas whenever we can. There's no point in really holding on to Degas. We're going to use it eventually. Uh, taking some more damage here. It's not looking so good for us. <laughs> Guillotine was a horrible mistake. I don't know how to dodge with it. I don't like the item. I just figured we'd take it because 
We pretty much had full health, if I'm being honest. That's why I thought we could take it. Just paid attention to dodging there, not so much hitting him. Our bombs are, you know, pretty much trash. Transcendent Tears adding a little bit confusion of confusion here. Not sure what's what. Not sure what I should even be dodging. Trying my best to continue to hit Transcendent Tears just because I think that's our best course of action in this scenario. Honestly, those two waves are not that easy, and we, we did it pretty well. I knew a brim was coming. I didn't know if I could get out in time. Dude, this damage. Holy. God save the queen. I know we could use our head to block with guillotine, but I don't know. Do you guys like guillotine? I, I've always hated it, but I'm pretty sure it might give you a tears up or a shot speed up or something. It's gotta, right? Pay attention to the body. Okay. Or, you know, pay attention to him and what he's about to do. That could work, too. Pro the problem is, uh, Meat Boy is no use against Mega Saiyan. We'll use the Degas as he transforms into Stage 2. Yeah, I don't think he's any use against him, except for, like, the hands, obviously. But the main head part, I don't think he really does anything. See, he's just chilling. <laughs> so it's just us and our damage. Us and our damage and our dodges. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Just get me out. Just get me out. I think I could tank it. Yeah, okay. Oh, that was not pretty. I'm going to be honest. If you guys stuck through with that one, you're a real trooper. No way in hell am I doing delirium with this shit. Get me out of here. Give me the win. Let me let me go. Up to a six win streak. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Make sure you check out the video to your left if you haven't seen it already. The playlist is to your right if you want to catch up on all the episodes that you've missed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Helps me out a ton. Till next time, stay safe, stay up, and peace. Out.